Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to generate random numbers now guys in java there are multiple ways to generate random numbers using the methods and classes so as you can see one of the ways is using the random method which belongs to the math library the another way is using the random class so this random class we are going to check in this particular video now we have another way that is using the thread local random class and another way in order to use the ints method in java 8 so guys basically we are going to use this random class in order to generate some random numbers which can be very helpful based on your requirements so guys let us move to the eclipse id over here and the random numbers that we are going to generate will be belonging to the integers so over here i will simply provide the int number variable now what we have to do is we have to provide the random class so as you can see random class over here eclipse id is suggesting us some classes so the first class that is the random that is belonging to the java.util package is the class that we can use and then this random class we can have the object called as random and then equal to new random so that we can instantiate this object over here now guys in order to generate a random number over here we can simply use the random object in this case so as you can see if we provide this random object over here followed by dot we can have multiple methods that can be used it can also help us in order to provide some random double values as well then we have random integer values we have long values as well and then we have boolean and then bytes and so on so the important thing that we have to do is we are going to provide next int so next int there are multiple methods based on the method overloading it is having different kind of parameters the first method is not having any parameter the second method is having one parameter which is the int bound which means we are providing a particular limit up to which the random number needs to be generated and then we also have two parameters which is asking for origin and the bound as well so if we use this first method over here it is simply going to generate a random integer value and we need to assign that random integer value to a particular variable in which case we will be using this number variable over here so i'll just copy this number number variable and then i'll assign this random dot next int to this number variable and now we simply need to print this number so over here i'll provide generated number is followed by colon and then we have number over here so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see generated number is 52593849 so guys this is a little bit long number but this is how the random class will work it will generate any number every time that you run this code so even if i run this code once again you will get some other number over here so let me just run this code once again as you can see you are getting some other number once again let me just run this code once again you are getting a negative number right now and so this is the way you can generate the random numbers guys apart from this let's say you want to provide a certain limit to the random numbers that is being generated so you can provide some number over here let's say we only want the numbers from 0 to 99 so the upper limit will be 100 in this case so when we provide this 100 as the parameter to our next int method the random object will now know that we just need the number between 0 to 99 and that is what we are going to get so let me just save this file and try running this code now So as you can see we are getting 20 right now which is a small number. So after running this code once again I am getting 56. Let me run this code once again now. So we are getting 30. So we are getting all the numbers within 0 to 99. So guys this is very important in case you are building an application wherein you are using the numbers from the dice. So let's say you are building a Ludo game or any other game then it is very important that you can use the random class in order to generate the random numbers of the dice. So in which case the dice is having the numbers from 1 to 6 so what we can do is next int we can provide the number as 6 over here and since the random number also generates the number 0 we can always use number plus 1 in order to get the numbers from 1 to 6 so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see we are getting 3 so on one instance we can get the number on the dice as 3 on the other instance we can get the number as 2 and so on 
So we are running this code multiple times over here. We are getting all the numbers within six, five, and then as you can see, we have got zero right now, but there is no number as zero on the dice. So what we can do is we can simply do number plus one in this case. So we will do number plus one. So even if we get zero, one will be added and we will get one in this case, but the generated number will never include this limit that we have applied over here. It is always this number minus one. So the maximum number will be five in our case. And even if five is generated, number plus one will make it as six. And that is the maximum number on the dice. Let me just save this file and try running this code now multiple times. As you can see, generated number is one. In this case, the number was zero and then we added one again. So the one number is from the dice. Let me just run this code once again. We are getting one then three and four, two, five, five, one, three, four and so on. So guys, this is one of the important classes that is the random class that you can use in order to generate the random numbers based on your requirements. Guys, apart from this, if you see there are some more methods inside this random object. So when we provide random followed by a dot and then we have next as you can see we have next boolean which will give us either true or false then we have next double so if you want to generate some double values you can use this next double as well we have next float as well we have next gaussian and so on so guys there are multiple methods that you can explore and based on your requirements you can use them accordingly so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about about is Java program to print a mirrored right triangle star pattern. So stay tuned.